just so that this isn't a YouTube video. With your guys' help, the second channel, Jimmy here live, was able to reach 100,000 subscribers. If you guys aren't subscribed, go subscribe right now. Jimmy here live. Search it up on YouTube. Jimmy here live. And now they sent me a package. What could be in here? Could be anything. What does it say? Susan wo wo what Susan said you have ligma. Just kidding, it doesn't say that. It just says uh congratulations and stuff. Okay. Come on with the fart, man. Fat Lady 03, thank you for the prime sub. Chat. It is time. Big hog. Oh, what the hell? They put it on backwards. Dude, it's backwards, man. <laughs> just kidding. The camera is just <laughs> mirrored. <laughs> Yo, this is huge because, guys, I have the old play I have the play button still for my uh for my main channel for 100,000 so we've got the gold one over there for a 1 million which I still can't believe and now I have this one but I have one of the OG play buttons hang on I have one of the OG silver play buttons it's it looks it looks way weirder Look away. Can you guys look away for a second? I have to crawl on my bed to get over there. Can you guys look away? Thanks, guys. I trust you. So this is this is the original play button. Look at this. Look at, this. Look at how weird this is, man. Compared to the... Oh, man. Weird, huh? But I guess this one's kind of cool because it's it's OG. I got this one back in like 2018. And then this is the new one. I kind of like the new one in terms of like quality. But this one's definitely more of a throwback. This one's quality is way higher though. Should I, should I, should I pose for a, should I pose for a thumbnail with all three? I mean, chat, I don't get to flex much, but you know. You know, yeah, give me this chance, chat. Come on, give me this chance. Look, I'll even let you guys be in the picture, okay? Where's Twitch chat? There you guys are. Look, you you guys are there. Flexing them twig arms. Okay, listen, my arms aren't huge, but they're not twigs, man. But, hey. Hey, they're not twigs, bro. What do you mean? I don't have those XQC arms, man. baby Ooh. that's kind of cool <laughs> uh, it feels weird man it feels weird to get like recognition for making dumbass videos online you know what I mean 
I don't know. You're so hot. Thanks, Bryce. Thank you, Bryce. No, you. H F S K A A F H J D A. Thank you for the tier one sub. And Gage8002, thank you for the prime sub. All right, chat. You guys ready to watch some content? Jimmy's hair shines when it moves around. Oh shit, it kind of do. God damn, oh my. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, look at that. Woo. Damn, it kind of do. <laughs> uh, all right. It's not greasy, dude. Come on, man. It's not greasy. If it was greasy, it would look way different. All right. Let's get this started, boys. Let's get it going. Uh, we're going to start with Daily Dose of Internet. We have one, two, three, oh. four, five, six, seven episodes of Daily Dose Headless of Internet. Headless Horse just resubscribed for eight months. Hello? You add a little light to this dark world. Keep up the awesome work, Jimmy. Hey, what the f That's so nice, man. What the hell? <laughs> Thank you, Headless Horse. Thank you, for the, thank you for the eight months resub, homie. Much appreciated. All right. If you guys are ready, we'll do the YouTube intro. I'm going to go ahead and mute alerts. So text to speech and stuff are going to be off, but it'll still show up up there. I'm not bald, Chad. Actually, maybe I'll show you guys my hairline today, okay? Maybe if you guys are lucky and stick around for a long time, maybe I'll show you guys my hairline. Maybe. Or at least my part down the middle. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. Uh, nice. Times two. Let's do a let's do a little YouTube intro for the Jim Here Live channel. All right, <clears throat> chat, you guys can go ahead and start saying hi to YouTube. These are a little bit more simple than the other ones. <clears throat> what is going on, my dudes? Welcome back to Jimmy Here Live, where I'm live. If you're not here live, then uh, you're missing the live stream. Join us live, twitch.tv slash Jimmy Here with the chat going absolutely bonkers as usual. Today we are watching Daily Dose of Internet. If you're not subscribed to Daily Dose of Internet, I recommend. Boom. Subscribe to Daily Dose of Internet. He makes amazing content. But if you miss an episode of his on his channel and you want to come watch it with the stream, feel free. We uh we watch Daily Dose of Internet all the time. So swing around, catch up with us, and let's watch some Daily Dose of Internet. Woo! There it is, boys. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the first one. Obviously. Pull this up. Bing, ba, bam, be, boom, be, boom, bing, bam, boom, boom, bing, boom. Let's make sure this is all the way turned up. Okay. Also, guys, don't forget when the Daily Dose of Internet guy says hello to us, we say hello to him. It's only, you know, it's only, uh, it's, it's proper, you know, it's, it's the etiquette. So say hello to the Daily Dose of Internet guy. Let's go. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Oh! A sister surprised her brother at the airport. You got a big gift in there. What is this? He let her fall over. Don't worry, the cat was okay. <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> oh my God. What the hell? Hot. Uh, Got the sugar. Breathe. I'm breathing. <laughs> this rat mom. Did huh? Huh? That's cr- what? Dude, magic- Like, I never want to learn how to do magic tricks, chat. I love being stupid. Like, not understanding how the trick works. I love being naive to magic because it just- it just blows your mind and you're like You know, brain aneurysm. I love it, dude. Decided that it was bedtime for her babies. It's the two. Oh. Hey, yo. 
echt in de hele tijd passen ze niet door dat gat. Kijk. It's bedtime, rat. Oh my gosh, she just pulls them in like crazy. People always ask me why I work out so much. Hi, lady. <laughs> Hey, secure the bag. This truck had absolutely no respect for this tent that was using the crosswalk. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I found a really cool video the of- The way it actually looked like it was timidly walking across the street. <laughs> That's so good. Oh God. All right, let's continue. A vapor cone forming on a fighter jet. That's a weird. It looks like he's glitching out. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, they're Man, that's the cutest shit. Someone recorded this guy at the park grabbing a goose. It turns out they're actually really good friends. <laughs> Here's so a really cool, cool visual Aww. of every single earthquake that occurred throughout the past year. See that one at the top? It's when your mom got out of bed, chat. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Ah, the cum Later. river. Oh man, that was a good episode. Thank you, Daily Dose of Internet. Let's watch another. Let's do it. Also, Plam Labs, thank you for the tier one sub seven months. Thank you so much, homie. Much appreciate it. Thank you. Santa Bees, thank you for the prime sub, the fresh prime. Real Cobalt, thank you for the 10 months resub. He says, yo, yo, chat, can we get a yo, yo? Yo, yo, let's get a yo. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Oh. Sorry to bother you, by any chance, do you have a dollar so I can catch the train? I'm trying to get back home to Canada. Oh, uh, you have the ten. I just, I just need, I think, a dollar fifty to catch the train. I'm, I'm a, a little less than two dollars short. We can do that. Thank you. So actually, instead of giving you eight dollars, I wanted to give you five hundred dollars. No. <laughs> yeah. Can I give you a hug by any chance? Okay. Can I ask why you were going to give me a couple dollars? Because you, you said you need it. You need help. This person has a scar in their eye. As wholesome as, as heck. I'm a little torn though. While that is an absolute, you know, crazy nice thing to do, I personally have the opinion that under no real circumstance, unless you think someone's in danger, should you just like go record homeless people uh, for like internet clout? Like, yeah, it's really cool, but most homeless people, they don't want to be recorded, man. They, like, I don't know. It's one. It's one of those things where it's like it's like half and half. Where it's like, oh yeah, half of half of this is like, oh it's so nice and cool, and you 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 probably change this guy's like day, week, month, whatever. But on the other half, it's like, did you really have to put a camera in his face? Like, ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, it, it's it, there's good sides and bad sides to both, but you know, it is what it is. Ah. Uh, so, best of luck to that guy. I hope, uh, hope everything is uh, on the up and up for that guy. Let's continue. Arm And notice that when they put their scar on the barcode scanner, the system thinks that they're a trampoline. Wow. 14 foot trampoline. A police officer arrested a food delivery driver, but was kind enough to still deliver the food to the customer. You know, I'm not who you're expecting, um, but the driver Damn, got this. <laughs> this is a good deed so that he didn't <laughs> that he didn't expect. <laughs> now that's great. Thanks. He didn't expect to be recorded. That's just a good deed. I love that. Yo, how did how, how did they get footage of Zach as a child? <laughs> This diver figured out a trick to make bubbles spawn from his hands. Nah, that's
That's water bending, homie. Yeah, Zach, really. <laughs> That's water bending. Ooh, this is hot. <sighs> Don't laugh. It's not funny. This plane just has a lot on his mind right now. Can somebody Photoshop this and have him be like, no bitches? Mega mind. I bet you've That's never beautiful. seen a cow as pretty as this one. Damn. Okay. This is called Giant's shit. Causeway in Ireland. Many people believe that it should be considered the eighth wonder of the world. An incredibly rare volcanic event created these hexagon-shaped columns. That's crazy. I wonder how that actually... Dude. That is the end of this video. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Oh, look at that cat, man. I forgot what I was saying. Something about... Cat. Anyways. Thank you, Mr. Daily Dose of Internet. Let's watch another one! Let's go, baby! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Whoa! I found this YouTuber that makes incredible science videos. This is a science experiment that can only be seen from a camera. If you perfectly match up sound waves along with the frame rate of your camera, you can get this really cool effect with water. Wait, does the water actually do that? Or does the, only the camera show that? That's wild. <laughs> I talked to this person who has some pet turkeys, and he told me that the male turkeys basically have a big bag of air in their bodies. He told me that you can squeeze their air bags to make them burp, and they won't really care. If you can help them a little bit, you get this sound. Oh, that's crazy. Ooh. With gas prices getting more and more expensive, some people are driving around with tiny cars instead. Oh, runs off three AAA batteries. <laughs> I wonder where you get those, dude. They're so cool. Yo, like, this guy is spitting nothing but facts. Ew. I wonder where you get those tiny cars, though. <gasps> what were they thinking? That's genius. <laughs> this person had a hole in their sock, but came up with a great idea to fix it. Sharpie. I found a company that makes a super powerful fabric coating so liquids won't stain your furniture. Yo. I got some I ideas talked to the scientist and he sent me video footage of him popping pimples on a tree. Oh, that's weird. One of my subscribers recorded this video of someone trying to paraglide. Oh, that's scary, dude. Oh. Oh. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. <laughs> I like how he just keeps ending the videos with close-ups of dogs and or aminals. <laughs> I love that. Oh, so cute. Thank you, Mr. Daily Dose. You're great. All right, let's watch this next one. We have four more episodes to watch. Let's go. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Hello. Over the past few weeks, a video of a 109-year-old Buddhist monk has been all over social media. Many people think this video is fake, but it's actually real, and he's just really, really old. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> over the past few days, ice has been falling off skyscrapers in New York City. God. Oh my god! Oh! What the hell? <laughs> oh, this, this seal knows what's good. 
Okay, you wanna see his what? You wanna see? What was wrong with the second one? Sounds like watching Attack and Titan. <laughs> <laughs> This giant thing was rolling through a parking lot oh, and somehow good. went right between these two trucks. What even is that? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, where were we in the video? <laughs> what do you think is wrong with this horse? <laughs> Probably nothing. He's just vibing, dude. <laughs> High five. Make the chicken noise. <laughs> Go. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That was actually like spot on. Okay. This poor kid. Now that's actually terrifying. M mooses can kill people, like straight up. They're huge. Let me let me Google this. How many mooses kill humans each year? Oh, okay. Well, they injure about five to ten people annually. I don't know how many people die, but dude, they're crazy. They're, they're they're huge, man. Oh, maybe the it says that the attacks are rarely fatal to humans, but anyways, they're crazy. Cat has appeared to have lost all meaning in life. Nah, oh, man, he's just going through it. It's like the rest of us. One of my subscribers lives in Ukraine and sent me video footage showing her neighborhood and the bunker she has to live in. Man, all this shit's crazy, dude. Why did man? What? Why can't why can't everyone in the world just like not be dumb as hell and want to like hurt each other? You know what I mean? Why is it that hard, chat? I mean, I know life's complicated. That is but the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, fuck, and I'll see you guys again very very soon. Later. Chat, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have never been in a physical altercation. All the way growing up in school, anytime after that, I've never been in like a fight. Uh, the idea of being in a fight kind of freaks me out. Not to mention the idea of being in like a life endangering situation fight. Uh, I don't know if I'm like a pacifist inherently, but you know, down to my core, I can't, dude, I can't understand getting to the point of feeling like you need to either harm somebody to like get your point or get what you want or let alone kill somebody. Like I just internally, I, I can't uh, resonate with any of those feelings. It's so it's so foreign to me. Like I, I don't understand how, how people like get there. It's it's so weird. I don't know. Fighting makes me nervous. Maybe I'm just a weenie. Chat. Am I a weenie? If I'm a weenie, then that's okay. Because, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a weenie. Jason, thank you for the tier one sub, homie. Oblong, thank you for the gifted sub. War ridden. Thank you for the five months resub. Appreciate the kind of words, man. Hope you uh, hope you feel better soon. And that dungeon guy. Thank you for the hundred bits. All right, let's watch the next video. Listen, Chad, I'm I'm fine with being a weenie. Okay. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Hello. This owl just woke up after having surgery and the vet was demonstrating on how to properly put the owl back. Put their feet flat on the ground. So we're gonna put the feet flat on the ground, facing forward, and then a little plunk. <laughs> These guys plunk. found a mysterious spinning jar of peanut butter. There's demons 
Who's in the house? <laughs> How? <laughs> this person's cousin was cremated and they wanted to have their ashes thrown into the ocean. Everyone knows that if you drop a cat, they That's will almost so always land on their feet. Back in the oh. 1960s, the U.S. government did experiments to see how cats would react in a situation where there is zero gravity. On their feet, this automatic reflex action is almost completely lost under weightlessness. What the <laughs> hell? Oh, that's a big cat. Aww. Dude. This person called... When I was in Australia, I went to the zoo. And they had tigers. And dude, they're so big. Like, they're so intimidating. I was just, like, looking at him. And he wasn't looking at me because, like, obviously I'm not a threat. Because look at me. But I was looking at him. I was like, God damn. That's a big cat. Like, they're huge, man. I also saw a giraffe. And, uh, you know, I had to take a pic and send it to Zach. Actually, I took a video. And, uh, I don't even know if I showed Zach the video yet. <laughs> it's a big giraffe. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Squid Kid Game, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate that. G Barbas, thank you for the three months of Prime. And bro! Oh, yes, I did see monkeys too, chat. They were they were really far away and a little hidden because it was raining at some points. But I did see monkeys. That was great. Um, Yo! I'm lost. Help me. Thank you for the $108.72 tip, homie. What the hell? Go, 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 go. Yo, what, what did it, what, what, what did I do to deserve that, man? What the hell? Thank you, dude. Also, he said, if I give you my mom's number, will you please be my dad? <laughs> uh, no, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. Uh, but I do have a PO box on my, uh, unrelated. I do have a PO box on my discord. If you, uh, if you ever got, if you guys ever wanted to send me something, you know. Anyways, uh, Reign of Realms, thank you for the 32 months of Prime. Much appreciated, homie. Much appreciated. Also, guys, uh, please go check out the Discord server if you guys have ever wanted to send me something that obviously follows all the rules that I have listed. Uh, P.O. Box is open. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be doing a P.O. Box opening in probably less than a month. So, now's your chance. Send something to P.O. Box. It'll be a YouTube video. And it'll be sick. Anyways, let's continue this video. How to be underneath a bottle cap. Free him. Free him. I think this is pretty cool. There's a device that can change the shape of an egg. You guys think you could do that with your nuts? If you're an actor doing a live performance, this is what happens backstage when you need to change quickly. Gentlewoman, come hither. Go, 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 just go. Get it on, go. I see wearing clown pants. This snowplow driver is either really bad at driving or trying their best to take out every mailbox they see. <laughs> That's my stop. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, I know it's been a while. <laughs> that was the Yo. best. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Peace. Thank you, Mr. Daily Dose of Internet. Thank you much. All right. We got two more episodes to watch. Let's do it. Hello, everyone. Wait, hang on. Sorry. There we go. Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose of Internet. Hello. Hello.
These people spotted a guy that appears to have escaped from a mental health institution. Go! 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 Oh, go! 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 He's gone! Go. He's gone! Go! Oh, I mean, if he has, man, he could be a danger not only to other people, but to himself. I don't know why they're cheering him on. I don't know. I guess it's just some people, some people do that kind of thing. I hope he's safe. That's all I have to say. I'll, 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 I hope they're safe. Damn. Somebody brought a peacock on the plane. Why? What age should you give up on your dreams? 65. Why? Wait, no, actually, 80. 80? Wait, no, actually, don't give up on your dreams at all. Yeah! So, what's your final answer? 75. This turtle really <laughs> likes this person's nails. Why? Why did he go back on it? Ooh. I have never seen Ooh, something like this girl. in my entire life. These people came in with ski masks on and started stealing everyone's food. Yo, wait, I think they're getting robbed for food in here. Oh my god, look at them, look at them, look at them. I think they robbing it. Yeah, they robbing it for food? Yo, she got rolls. <laughs> this dog likes to jump every time the harness comes off. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Yo, somebody put that the cartoon boy. This cow was born with an extra leg on their head, but they don't seem to be too bothered about it. <laughs> when it's literally This person not a found phase. a really angry deer. I'm so not close. Phase, Do I just leave bro. it here? What's wrong with it? <laughs> so this is pretty interesting. Oh a dust storm from the Sahara Desert in Africa somehow traveled all the way over to London. Hi, right, yo. That's crazy. Everyone knows about service dogs, but what about seeing a service horse going through airport security to get on a plane? Yo, is it, is it, is it, is it? At that point, is it really necessary? Like, a dog wasn't enough? You bonded so so much with a horse that you needed it to be the service animal? I mean, to each their own. But, like, it's coming on the plane? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Aww. Later. <laughs> That's a cute cat. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, final daily dose of internet chat. Here we go. Make sure you guys say hello to the daily dose of internet guy. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Hello. These wrestlers were in a tournament and are great friends and had to end up facing each other. So instead of wrestling, they did rock, paper, scissors to decide the winner. Okay, that was kind of fun. There's an organization that takes young... Did you see that? What the hell? Hold on, dude. Okay, first of all, I'm lost. Help me. Thank you for the tier one sub and the 10 gifted subs. Go, 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 go. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. And also, we got to watch this one again. What happened here? There's an organization that takes young Whoa. orphan orangutans and teach them the skills they need to survive. For example, they will teach them to be afraid of snakes. This poor cat got too close wow. to the onions. <laughs> Lily, are your eyes okay? I'm looking at it.
Oh. A scientist put some pieces of glass next to some sticky tape to see what these ants would do. Turns out these ants are smart enough to use the pieces of glass to create a bridge over the tape. Some grocery That's stores in Japan terrifying, use dude. holographic self-checkout touchscreens to purchase items. Whoa. That's rad. This is what a mouse trap back in the 1800s looked like. We are loaded with powder. Let's see what happens. Oh, hell no. Run, little dude. This poor guy ran over a sprinkler. He's a gun? Bro! Hey, yo! They, they, what the fuck? They blew Jerry to smithereens, man! What the hell? That's not a mouse trap. Where was the trap? Like, holy shit. That's a, that's an execution. <laughs> With his lawnmower. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks bad. This plant has a really cool oh, way man. of growing new leaves. Whoa. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Whoa. Later. I can't let it Hey, yo! Hey, yo! <laughs> uh, that was crazy. I think we have one of those plants in the house, actually. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, yo! That was, uh, that was Daily Dose of Internet. Hey, if you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure to comment down below with which clip was your favorite. Make sure to go subscribe to Daily Dose of Internet if you're not already. Also, maybe subscribe to the Jimmy Here Live channel if you made it this far. And, uh, say, say goodbye to, uh, say goodbye to YouTube chat. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Woo! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, chat. Entertainment's not over though. We're gonna watch some unusual memes and then we got some more stuff to watch too. Glitchy Boy666, thank you for the two months of Prime. Thank you, homie. Much, much, much appreciated. Bop, 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 bop. Bum, 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 bum. Hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. All right, let's watch unusual videos. I think there's only one new one, dude. Yeah, there's only one new one. That's okay. That's all right. I hope the uh, unusual memes guy is doing well. He usually posts once every Sunday. Oh, I guess I guess people are commenting that some of his uh videos got deleted. Oh shit, a bunch of his videos got deleted. Man, that sucks. Anyways, I didn't mean that in a not nice way. Uh it does suck. Uh, it's probably it's probably like copyright shit. That, that happens. Uh all right, chat. Let's do a little YouTube intro for this and then uh and then we'll watch. You guys ready? You guys can go ahead and say hi to the gym here live channel. Let's go. <clears throat> Yo, what's going on? Jimmy here live. I'm live here, twitch.tv slash Jimmy here. If you're not here, then uh, you're missing out because we, right now we're gonna we're gonna watch some unusual memes. The chat is hanging out, having a wonderful time, and you should be here too. So make sure to follow. Links down in the description. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoy and you want to watch some future uploads. Make sure those notifications are on and you hit that like button and uh, comment what color your socks are. I don't know why I said them. Anyways, let's watch these memes. And uh, chat for you guys. Every time I laugh during this uh, video, I will give you guys a sub, okay? Let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I laughed. Thanks, okay, there's one. Hey, yo. Started this at ten, and it's it's just past twelve. 
for a whole Oh no, not this. No, not the grilled cheese. Oh. Invest in a spatula, <laughs> man. Oh, it got blurred out. It's gonna be like a Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh, that. Okay. What's a zib? Oh, it got blurred out. I think they fell. Hold my beer. <laughs> Oh. Clean my car. Just gotta skate like sometimes, chat. And it looks so pretty. Okay. <laughs> Cross the sport mode. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, yo, this is so cute. The never ending cycle. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you know, that was a real choke, too. <laughs> All right, that's two. Oh, man. Can we get some Jimmy 07s in the chat? The time I just finished shooting a film called oh, man's going through it. Passing train. There was playing a much Hey, yo. <laughs> Caught lacking. Dogs unhinged. Oh. Dude, come on, there's no way. Oh, open that bitch. <laughs> ah! He finna drink that hoe. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh! That's a smart dog. Why? Oh. I mean, it go it goes hard. Oh, is that a wombat? I think that's a wombat. Oh, not the fourth guy. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later, bro. <laughs> what? What? Why is that a thing? I, uh, dog! Why was that... Okay. <laughs> He's playing League of Legends mobile. Damn. Uh, is he going to pick left Twix or right Twix? Is that a glizzy?
course normally goes right, man. Damn, they can handle that slamon. Look at this goddamn lazy bitch that took Chester Stone milk crate. Bitch, I need to sit on this milk crate and make money, bitch. Well, these motherfuckers done brought this bitch so much cat food, my motherfucking ass ain't got no way to sit. Lazy I love that guy's voice. Up, bitch. Get your ass up, bitch. I got money to make, motherfucker. What was that? Oh, that was nice. Get oh. off the road. Hey? Right? You can't be on the road. <laughs> you can't be on the road. When I was in Australia, truck? I got to pet koalas. Right? You can't be on the road. They're funny little dudes. Hey? Right? You can't be on the road. <laughs> Get off the road. Come on, mate. Hey. What was that? Was that a top that they were spinning? What was that? Look at this cat. That is a happy cat. That's a happy cat. There's a lot of first time chatters in the chat. Hope you guys are all doing well. You guys are first time chatters, say hello. And if you're watching on YouTube, come into the next stream and say hello. It'll tell me that you're a first time chatter. I'll try to say hi. Yo. What's up? What's going on, guys? Well, that was uh, Unusual Memes Compilation. Um, I didn't think of an outro for this video, so I'll just go ahead and say... Uh, Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right. Do Rito, thank you for the 10 months resub. Astoria Arts, thank you for the tier one sub. Official Be Bleach Facts, thank you for the two months of Prime. Much appreciated. Will it be on Pandora? I don't know. Canoon, thank you for the Prime sub. Thank you, homie. Ooh. Can we do marbles? Maybe close to the end of the stream. We've got a couple more videos to watch. Uh, we do, we do, we do. Let's see. So as of right now, I kind of have two more videos to watch. Uh, Zach recommended a video to me, and I was actually really interested in it because uh, I think it tackles a lot of uh, important things. Uh, but it's also probably pretty interesting and I never I don't think I've ever watched any of this uh, content creators content before on Twitch uh, But he's big on Twitch and uh, We're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch this video So this video is from Ms. Kiff and it's called this is killing streamers Now, I don't know if he means literally or not, but I think he's just talking about stuff That streamers are, are dealing with that not a lot of people know about so we're going to go ahead and react to the ultimate reactor, Ms. Kiff. So, chat, say hello to YouTube, because I think we're going to put this one on YouTube. And, uh, Pog. Let's do it. <sighs> hey. Over this past year, I have been slowly and slowly killing myself. And I've been what? realizing it uh, pretty much this past few months. I was killing myself over being stressed. And the reason why a lot of that stress came down to is actually from OTK. So last year, Asmongold and I were seen as the bigger streamers on OTK. And since Asmongold left OTK, I kind of had to step up and do almost a lot. I gotta clarify. Some people, I, I was reading the comments before I watched the video. Some people think that Asmongold left OTK. He didn't completely leave OTK. He just taken a big break. Uh, so OTK, but for those of you guys that don't know, is an organization of streamers. Uh, basically, Mizkif owns it. They made an org, kind of like uh, OTV, if you guys know OTV. Uh, so it's a streamer org. And uh, they do a bunch of content together and they, they uh, yeah. 
they they work together do big events and a bunch of stuff like that uh so yeah it's an org and uh yep a lot of the grunt work i also help a lot in the back end of otk but i also was doing a lot of stuff with the back end the content planning content creation and overall the hours that were watched on the streams and it was really stressful because i had dozens of people's jobs and a lot of people's bets on our org doing well reliant on just me i was stressed every single day for the year of 2021. every day i noticed that it was harder to why is breathe everyone typing seven? when i would try to take breaths I why is everyone typing seven what the fuck? okay you guys go crazy with sevens i guess i would feel the air coming through my lungs and leaving. And it just felt like I was almost cracking my stomach. It felt very weird. I My knees started to crack a lot more. I started to have anxiety, which is something I never even thought was a, a thing I can ever have. I couldn't sleep. I still can't sleep. And I started to realize it at about 2022 that it was killing me. And if I kept up with this stress, I'm going to die. I'm going to quit streaming is exactly what I said to myself. I said, if I keep this up, I'm going to quit. By the way, a lot of you guys are stressing me out because only 11.4% of you guys have Shameless, all notifications on the dude. channel, which is actually 4,000 more than what we had last week. So thank you. If you guys can please do Shameless. that, it does make a huge difference. You guys are the ones that watch the videos. You guys are the ones that say <laughs> yo for like the first 700 comments. Please do it. Thank you. And yo. partially some of that stress was also two videos a day, which is why we are now doing one video a day on the channel. And dude, it's not just- Isn't that crazy, chat? For me, Okay, so I upload once a week and then I don't even, I don't, I, obviously Miss Gift doesn't edit his videos, but I don't edit my videos either. And then sometimes we have videos go live on the Jimmy Here Live channel. Bro, I get, I, I can't imagine the amount of stress that he, he was under with like running an org, doing all this content and doing all these live streams because I've been stressed doing the stuff that I've been doing. It's like, man, it's crazy me a lot of people in this industry are stressed and a lot of the top content creators are stressed because the thing is with being a streamer is the clock never stops you can always be doing more as a streamer you can i do talk about this sometimes uh not usually to you guys but to the people that are around me in real life and stuff as a streamer and a content creator it feels like you're always mentally clocked in because at, at a normal nine to five job, generally you will go into work, you will do, you know, what you need to do. And then when you're done, you're done. Right. And it's cool. But as like a content creator, you kind of like can't ever clock out in your own head because you're always thinking like, oh, I need to do this thing. Oh, I need to do this thing. Oh, I could be doing this thing. Or, oh, I just thought of this new thing. Or I forgot to do this new thing. It's like, it's this really weird, uh, like thing that happens where you, you're, you get kind of trapped in your own brain and you feel like you can almost never relax. It's kind of crazy. Always be making better content. Vsauce here. I'm starting to sound like that guy a lot. And it's hard to have a work-life balance with streaming because one thing that Nick Palm told me that actually was accurate is streaming isn't a job, is what he told me. He said streaming's a lifestyle. And he's 100% right. Streaming never stops. You could always be doing more with streaming. I could always be making better content. I can always be thinking of ideas. Me just sitting there playing Mario Kart by myself, trying to relax, I shouldn't be relaxing because someone else could be taking one of my ideas or I should be working on myself and it's being a better throat. streamer. It's toxic. You know, the thing is with a lot of people is that when they go to work, they do their work and then they're done when they clock out and they don't think about it. They have the weekends oh. off to relax. That doesn't happen with streaming. There's no such thing as uh -huh, the weekend. I said every that. day is the weekend, but you have to be working every day. And it makes it very stressful, especially for the people on top who are constantly trying to climb to beat each other in terms of competition. And I'm one of those people. I've uh, noticed myself. My heart has been having random beats for absolutely no reason. I've been feeling a lot shittier. I've been feeling a lot of, more out of breath. I've been streaming a lot less. I, I haven't mm. been feeling good uh, up until about a month or two ago. I really knew what it was. It was just the stress I've been dealing with over the years has just taken a massive toll. Fortunately, now I'm finally getting to those points and I'm starting to eat healthy. <laughs> 
there's always some guy in the chat that that has this take god this guy needs to stop whining he doesn't have a hard job oh man if you have the take in 2022 that's like to be a, you think that being a top tier content creator on the level of Mizkif is not difficult or challenging or time consuming or just hard in general you have zero clue about not only what goes into the everyday but everything before that to get there it's like the my own my only thing is like okay th if it's not hard then do it then just do it bro like let's see how it goes let's see how 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 well you promote yourself and get get all of your content online let's see you edit videos before you can afford an editor let let's see you figure out all these really cool ideas by yourself it must not take long right like yeah you just spit out an idea you just hit go live and in, in instant views right that's not how it works and like yeah it's a really cool job and it's you know being in a position of like being a content creator is like you know it, it, it seems like a dream to people it's like oh you just go live and play game but as as somebody who's trying to build like coming from from me somebody that's trying to build up much more than even that i have what i'm working on right now i i, I don't even know how many hours i put in a week like i i do spend a lot of time just chilling but I have, I mean, with Zach and the boys, we have, we have like two meetings a week, just us meeting together to figure stuff out. I had three meetings today already. I had three meetings. And that's crazy to me because I, I don't even think about it anymore. I just, I, I just kind of do it. It's weird. And like, but the only thing that you guys might see today is the stream and then the YouTube video and be like, wow, Jimmy didn't maybe work very hard. It's, it's, it's a, it's an uneducated take and I don't really blame people for having it sometimes, but it's, it's not an easy job, Chad. It's definitely not. Where's our meetings? Yeah, I'm sorry, mods. I've been, I've been slacking on the mod meetings. We'll, we'll, we'll have more meetings, mods. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, I don't mean to harp on that too much, but. It is a really interesting thing to think about. There's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot that goes into being a content creator that is I I think like well, most content creators would agree that like ninety percent of what we do is off cam. At least if you're taking it like super duper duper seriously healthier i'm starting to work out even i just got a sauna that i've been using and it's been helping a lot and i've just been trying to relax what i was doing for a yeah, while go, is i was focusing on the short term you know creating content constantly you know trying to always constantly beat myself but that's how you get stressed and i try to look at some people like soda poppin who've been doing it for a decade and what do they do they just do what they want and they enjoy their life and that's what i want you know, I want to be able to enjoy myself, and I have been a lot more lately. Hanging out with OTK has definitely been a lot more enjoyable. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't even look at my view count as much as I used to. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you and say I don't at all. And people that come in my chat and remind me of what view count I am, you know, it, it's almost impossible chat? not to know. But I have been looking at it a lot less. I've also been caring a lot less about reacting to things I don't want to react to and overall doing things I don't want to do. This channel going from two to one videos has made me a lot less stressed because I don't have to react to things I don't want to. I'm making content I enjoy, which is this video. I've been craving money since I was 16 years old. I was a money hungry guy. I almost said mogul moves. I almost threw up. I've been a money hungry guy <laughs> since I was 16. But you know what's one thing oh, money can't on, buy man. is my brain. It'll never be able to buy my personality. It'll never be able to buy what I have. And that thing that I have is what has made all this happen. Don't lose that. And a lot of people I feel work really hard over years and years and they spend a lot of that money, you know, trying to get their health back that they used to get the money. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to be happy, be healthy. That's crazy. You know, Cheerio sponsor, hit me up. I want to be happy and healthy. <laughs> But at the same time, enjoy my job. I'm so lucky to have what I have and I should be fortunate and also enjoying it. I, can, I see it as this way. I can either enjoy my job and do it for six years, but slow it down a little bit, or I can do my job 
and hate my life, but do it just for another year or two. Now, which one's the obvious decision? And that's the decision I've been choosing lately. This is the worst part about streaming, by mm. the way, that I can't even enjoy a movie because my brain is so messed up over the years where I'm saying to myself, watching that movie, I should be doing something for a stream or my org. And that's just such a bad way of thinking of life, you know? Like, like I've made- I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I, I, uh, I, I can't like, if I wake up from a, from a, a night's sleep, right? I, it's very hard for me to go back to bed without feeling like guilty about going back to bed because there are things that I know that I could be doing for content. It's such a toxic mindset, but it's so, it's so like hard to get out of. Like, it's weird. I literally like my heart starts beating when I wake up like faster than it should because I'm like, oh shit, I need to get out of bed and, and create content. It's, it's weird, man. It's, it's very unhealthy and it's just, it's, it's part of the reality sometimes for, for content creators because like we, f we feel like we always have to be on. It's so weird because rationally it's like, bro, you deserve some sleep. Just, just get some sleep. Right. But that's not how it works all the time. It's weird. I made it this far. I've done this much. Like I should celebrate my victories and I just don't. I, I wish I did more, and that's one thing I'm trying to do a lot more, is really just overall be more excited and happy and just enjoy things. You know, like, why can't I just watch a movie and just really actually enjoy it? And that's the worst part about streaming, is the fact that I can't just sit there and enjoy something. That is the most stressful thing, and I know a lot of streamers deal with it, and a lot of the top streamers deal with it, because you got to. That's how you're at the top, because you're willing to sacrifice those things. You're willing to make this into a massive lifestyle that Twitch is. And it's toxic as fuck, and it's fun as hell. But my God, it's is fun. it a ridiculous reality that I'm glad to be a part of. Comments are also really bad. I, I mean, streamers don't have to deal with, some streamers don't have to deal with it at all, you know? But a lot of communities that are very big and vocal have uh, Reddits. And those comments can really hurt and really make people feel like I do have to say, thank you, Blue Dang. I do have to say, my comments, I don't, I don't have a Reddit yet. Probably gonna have one at some point. My comments on YouTube are like the one thing that I can turn to, to be like, wow, you guys really care about me. And you guys really appreciate the videos. And it, it really makes me happy. Um... So thank, thank you guys that at any point drop any kind comments in the chat. I see them. Any kind comments on the YouTube. I see them. I try to heart a lot of them. It's crazy because almost all the time people are like, don't read your YouTube comment section. Like people are just going to be dicks there. Oh, you're, you're going to, you're going to lose your drive. You're going to, you're going to get an argument in your comment section. But dude, you guys in the comments, I don't even know how it happened. Like you guys literally like say the nicest shit. In my comment section, it's like a trend. Like every, everyone, everyone's like just going crazy in the comments with all these nice things. And I'm like, it's like, it's so cool. Cause like, I'm just, you know, I always say this, like, I'm just a goofball watching some videos with you guys and, uh, you know, saying my stupid things and doing, doing my dumb stuff. But, uh, you guys really, uh, you guys really give me a reason to smile in the comments and, uh, in the chat. So appreciate you guys. Like shit now for me fortunately shit. those comments used to stress me out two years ago you know when i was like four or five thousand viewers average i really got upset when i would see comments because i'm like damn it people are gonna see that and think that that's every stream or that's me it's almost like you just get used to it you know when you get punched 100 times you just start getting used to the pain i just got used to it i don't really get damn. offended or upset anymore but for some streamers and cutie cinderella is the perfect example she just got banned on live stream fails because of her award show because Cutie Cinderella was getting up miserably upset. And I'm glad she did it. And I was actually one that told her to because nothing can replace your mental health. Nothing can mm. replace this. You can have all the money in the world, but you got to keep this. Another thing about streaming that's very stressful that's true. is the lack of job security. One day you can just wake up and be banned. 
one day you can wake up and you can That's slowly lose too. viewers. And that can happen over a large period of time. For a long time, that terrified me. It's actually was some of my biggest motivation is I never knew if I was going to be banned. So every day I was able to stream, I just milked the hell out of it. And I just wanted to make sure I was making as much money as possible because I didn't really know if it was going to be there the next day. Job security Sometimes is very scary. Sometimes I think scary. about that with my and content too, Especially chat. when you're a small streamer you could, you could like, where those people get banned over the dumbest reason and they'll get, get banned or fall because off Because they don't have partner managers because Twitch is understaffed. Those people that don't have a voice that get banned, I've been there before. They're stressed out of their mind, I'm sure. What sucks for me the most is when I'm stressed, I'm not only not funny, I'm mad. I'm When I'm in stressed moods and I'm not, I'm not thinking straight. I'm not in a good mood, I'm not in a good headset, or fuck, look at me go. I'm not in a good mindset. When you have a normal job, it's really easy for you to just put on your happy face and pretend that you're not stressed out of your mind, going nuts, trying to pay for a bunch of things. But when you're an entertainer and the camera is like this, in front of you for six to seven hours a day, especially for someone like me who's constantly having to make jokes, it's really hard. And sometimes it's painful the entire way through. The fact that when I'm stressed, I, I, I really can't do anything besides just feel like shit. Uh, and to try to be entertaining for six hours a day, is almost impossible. You know, if I'm a construction worker, like I'll still be able to work despite being stressed, but I can't really make funny jokes and be super entertaining when I'm super stressed. I just can't do it. And I know it's a lot harder for streamers as well. There's a lot to it. And it's why I'm trying to make sure I'm less stressed for 2022. I don't think a lot of you guys noticed it, but I was very stressed in 2021. I was stressed the whole way because of Asmongold. And that's not his fault. I, I mean, he's got a lot going on. He had a lot going with his mom, but it was a lot for me. True. And I'm trying to make sure that I don't stop streaming because I love streaming and I love my job and I love making content and I want to keep making good content and I fucking, I heckin' love OTK and Chai, I, I want to keep funny. going. My goal for 2022 is not some big number. It's not some big thing. It's not some, I don't want to be a 40K Andy. I don't want to, and I'm not trying to double my viewership. I want to stay where I'm at, but I want to be healthy doing it. And I think I got that. And I think I'm going to do that. Ooh. Lesson from me, take deep breaths. And a lesson for me is do not let this stress kill you. It's not worth it. You know, I, I thought that these years of me working my ass off and doing the things I'm doing would be worth it. I thought it would be worth it completely. I always said to myself, just keep going, Matt. Don't worry about your mental. Don't worry about your health. No, Jimmy, this is really hard for people like us to listen to because honestly, he sounds very privileged in his opinion. Well, that's why he's talking about it. He's talking about it so that people that that don't understand can understand. Like, just just because he's privileged with some things doesn't mean that he's not allowed to experience bad feelings or stress or anxiety. Like, you know, that's why that's why they always say like money doesn't buy you happiness because the richest person in the world could be one of the most unhappy people in the world it's it's just how it is and just just because you know you're privileged in one area doesn't mean that you can't experience the rough parts of life as well uh i never really liked the mindset of like oh well somebody else out there has it worse than you because there's always literally always going to be somebody else out there that has it worse than you but that doesn't mean you should beat yourself up for feeling sad or stressed or anxious because everyone else everyone in the world has their own battles and their emotions and their feelings are relevant to them and so you know Ms. Kiff may be uh you know privileged in some areas but he's trying to express his feelings you know to his audience and to anyone that might not understand so uh I get what your comment is means but yeah it, there, there's things to learn here right uh if, if you don't understand what he's saying even after he said the whole thing that's fine it's probably gonna be impossible for uh you know almost anyone here to completely understand what what he's going through what anyone else is going through in the content creator space because for a lot of things in life you don't really you don't really understand things until you go through them uh, so it, it's, uh, I get what you're saying, but you know, every, every, everyone's got their turmoils. Everyone's got their battles.
keep going these next few this next two or three years and in 2022 23 you'll be happy because you'll be rich and you'll be happy because you you've got your house and your money and you're set no i'm not i'm not happy all that from the past two years is hitting me like a rock now but i'm glad i realized it now and i'm glad i'm doing something about it that's it for this video thank you guys for watching Seriously, you guys have been absolutely amazing, and the support for the channel has been going crazy. We've seen more subscribers these past few weeks than we have in months, and I think it's because you guys are liking the videos that we've been putting out, and we've been putting more quality into the channel. You know Please subscribe, I'm take like deep breaths once in a while, and I'll see you guys next video. Love him or hate him, Miss Give made some good points. There's a lot of, there's a lot, there's a lot that, uh, you know, every, everyone's got their battles, chat. No matter what job you have, no matter what lifestyle you have, everyone, everyone, uh, you know, has positive and negative emotions that they experience in that. And, uh, you know, not a lot of people, I think, have a good, uh, grasp or understanding on exactly what a lot of big content creators are going through on the day to day. So... Uh, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that he made that video and, um, yeah. Now I am going to be completely honest with you, chat, completely honest with you. I personally am extremely lucky and privileged and grateful to do what I do. But as with almost anything, there are a lot of difficulties and stressors that come with what I do. So thank you guys so much for obviously all your support through everything and, uh, you know, I'm going to keep working on the content, going to keep working on myself, and I hope you guys can do the same thing and whatever you guys got going on. So much love, much appreciation. Um, all right. That was a good watch. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I like watching some serious stuff. Everyone wants to know. I know on this channel, we usually just do funny stuff, but I think, uh, you know, occasionally doing some serious stuff is, uh, is healthy for uh not only me but just my content you know i i never i never really want my channel to be pigeonholed into just one thing right like right now my channel's mostly just like you laugh you lose and then we react and we game and whatnot but i like to kind of do a lot of things so that the people that uh you know maybe aren't just here for the laughs but maybe want to uh experience some other kinds of content can uh enjoy that as well all right, we have, let's see. I think we just have, I mean, I wanted to watch this video, but I kind of don't want to watch it anymore. Huh? Let me think about what else we can do for today's stream. Maybe we've gone through all the videos. So maybe we just have some fun and play some marbles. What 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 are you guys what are you guys thinking? What do you guys want to do? Idiots in cars? Uh I'm no, I don't know how much I don't I don't know if I want to do much more reacting today. Hairline reveal. Okay, you know what? I did tell you guys that I would do some kind of hairline reveal. Uh let me go let me go brush my hair and I'll I'll show you guys my hair without my beanie okay also i will be doing more mario kart soon but i haven't bought the new dlc for it yet and i don't have it set up right now so we won't do mario kart today but we'll do it soon uh i'll be right back also i'm not bald I'll put some music on for you guys do 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 do
Wahoo! I also want to speed run again soon. Don't laugh. You guys are just gonna, ah, uh, you guys are just gonna laugh. Listen, I have little lines on my forehead from my beanie, so that's, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, yo. Yo. What I tell you guys? We ain't balding. That's a normal ass line. No bald spot. Full fucking head of hair. I told you guys. No balding. Oh yeah, I know I've got ridges right here. It's from the beanie. Look at the beanie. It's got all your ridges, bro. Oops. Yeah, and I know I got a pretty big forehead. It's, like, it's kind of a five head, I know. God damn! Mega mind looking ass. But, uh. Anyways. I got a lot of hair, chat. You guys ever think about that? Look, look. I got so much. You just, look at this. Look, look, look how many times I can pull this up. Like, one, two, three, four, five. I should go crazy, bro. I'm gonna go put a hat on. Let's put a hat on. I got a new Discord hat. New Discord hat. I wish it was a little more bent though. My man's got a nine head, bro. Why do you guys have to roast me? You know what? I deserve it. Um, let me thank you guys for the suds and stuff. Gorp, yo, thank you for the tier one sub. Jay Simmons, thank you for the 200 bits. Meta Liminal, thank you for the 16 month resub. Bryce does gaming. Thank you for the 50 bits. Darkhound002. Thank you for the prime sub. Critical Nexus. Thank you for the 50 bits. Wolf2020. Thank you for the 500 bits. Doc in a bird. Thank you for the four months resub. I'm lost. Help me. Thank you for the $50 tip. Bro. Go, 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 go. Thank you for the $50 tip coming through. Also, he said, dude has a barcode for a forehead. Oh, come on, man. It's just the lines from the beanie. It's the lines from the beanie. Cloud first class, thank you for the tier one sub for four months. Piano man, thank you for the prime sub. Man. Anyways, do you guys want to do some marbles? What do you guys want to do? I got my, my net worth. Jimmy here, net worth. <laughs> this shit's busted. 
Oh my god. Hey yo. Chat, check this out. Hold up. Let me show our uh, Chrome. Where's Chrome? <laughs> Hang on. Net worth. Uh, apparently, chat, I'm worth a hundred and seventy million dollars, according to this website. God damn, I haven't. Where is this money? Hey, where's the money? I ain't seen a hundred and seventy million. I know net worth doesn't mean like how much you have in your bank account, but god damn, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Also, I don't know why it says I'm 27. I'm not 27. Oh yeah, and it says that I'm a Facebook star. Because I think when they made this article about me, the highest uh, follower count I had on any platform was on Facebook, which is weird. There was this period of time, there was like a two to three month period where somehow like three of my videos went viral on Facebook because they were like Wednesday related, uh, like Spidey Sue related. And I gathered up like 200,000 followers on Facebook within like a few months. And then it just dropped probably because I stopped posting, but still it was weird. <laughs> and then when I, when I first hopped on TikTok, oh my God, that growth was crazy, dude. Uh, anyways, so uh, we decided on marbles. We already watched Daily Dose. I'm, I'm down to just vibe with some marbles for a bit. Kahoot? How, I don't even know how Kahoot works. Can I request a video? Yeah, send it to me, Blank. I do want to speedrun Mario again soon. I'll just put it into the media share. Okay. What the fuck is this? What is this, dude? What is that? I'm not bald! I literally... Dude, I'm not even taking off the hat again. I literally showed you guys. You guys are jerks. Shadowhawk, thank you for the five months of Prime. Um, Abe, thank you for the 500 bits. Hey, Jimmy, glad I could pop in and chill. I just made spaghetti, so I'm going to head out. That is a completely valid reason to head out. Uh, but just wanted to say you're an inspiration and just from watching your streams. Thanks, man. You are genuine and a great person. Have a good night, dude. Thank you, man. Yo, chat. What if... You know you know how a lot of you guys say, you know, that I'm wholesome and that I'm a nice guy and I'm an inspiration? What if it was all a lie and I'm about to start my villain arc? I didn't even plan for this music to come on. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm going to go uh, punch a squirrel. <laughs> Is that what evil people do? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to go uh, uh, steal a sandwich. <laughs> you can't stop me. The Swag Shack, thank you for the Prime sub. Alright. Let's do some marbles. Uh, if you guys are watching on the VOD channel, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here. So, goodbye VOD watchers. Thanks for chilling. Uh, I don't think I need the marbles section. If you, if you want to watch the marbles VOD on the replay, just come over to watch it on Twitch. But, uh, chat, say goodbye to the VOD channel. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. And Pog, see you guys in the next one.